Hello, I am Ineas from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create a vintage look in Adobe After Effects. So this is the effect that we are going to create, but uh, using these effects you will be able to create your own unique style of vintage. Um, you can integrate my other tutorial as well for the uh, old film look to add some scratches on this uh, effect, so to get that old film look. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, first of all, import your footage, which I have already done. Then just drag this into a new composition. So just drag it over here and that will get it into a new composition. Um, I'm going to scale it up because I don't like the sky over here that won't um, play nice with the, the vintage uh, style. So just press the S on the keyboard and just scale it up and position it on a way you want it. So I'm going to position it just like this. Um, I'm going to work with adjustment layers so um, we can just shut them off uh, to see the differences. Um, so right click over here and go to new adjustment layer. Press uh, the return key on the keyboard to rename it and I'm going to rename it to color grading um, because we are going to color grade it and there is a big difference between uh, color correction and color grading. Color correction is uh, getting your footage to look as realistic as, uh, as it is and then you are going to start color grading over that color corrected uh, effect. So um, yeah, we won't get into this um, but we will just get started. Uh, first of all go to effect color correction and add a tint effect and we're gonna get it to a amount of 50% so we have um, like an older uh, with less colors uh, film look right over here and then go back to effects color correction and add some curves and uh, what we want to do here is um, add some contrast first just a little bit not too much um, this is way too much okay something like that and then we're going to the red channel and we're gonna delete um, we're gonna bump the highlights up and delete the um, the the shadows right over here so we get uh, something like this and then we're going to do the same thing for the green so I'm um, gonna bump this, uh, these up and the shadows down and then we're going to the blues and there we are going to do it um, the other way, uh, other way so um, we're gonna bump up the, the shadows and bump down the highlights and right over here you can see already that we are getting something that we want to have. Um, the only way to get um, to get a nice result is by messing around with these settings. So uh, it won't be perfect from the first time. Maybe a little bit more reds over here. And something like that. And just keep messing around with it. Um, maybe less contrast. No. Okay, there we go. And what a lot of people do uh, using the vintage look um, is going to effects and go to levels and just delete some of the black areas, something like this, uh, to get the old uh, effect from the vintage. And as we're going to um, see on the original, you can see right here some red spots, um, some kind of burned um, style on that uh, video. Um, you can animate these as well, so um, we are going to do this by going to new and add a new solid and get a black color and rename it to fractal noise. Uh, fractal noise is an effect that is uh, a very powerful uh, plugin and not it's not a plugin, it's an integrated uh, effect from um, Adobe After Effects uh, that comes with Adobe After Effects. So, um, it's really powerful and can be used for a lot of different things. So um, first of all, we're going to get the complexity back to one. So we have um, like almost no complexity. And then the transform, you're gonna drop this up and going to scale it up a lot. So um, let's say like 650, something like that. As you can see right over here. Now what we wanna do is um, get the brightness down and the contrast up. So we have um, like less white spots, something like this. Um, so like 250 and 80 right over here, um, negative 80. And then we're going to add a hue and saturation. So go to effects, color correction, and hue saturation. Gonna check on the, the colorize box, get the color uh, saturation to 70% and we're going to use a red color, maybe slightly orange color, something like this less um, let's say seven okay and then we're going to um, the modes if you don't see the modes over here just toggle the switches um, or press f4 on the keyboard 
and that will uh, change the the modes over here so go to norm uh, click on the normal and then just go to add or something like that um, or maybe and just if you hold shift and press the plus key you can just scrub through the the effects um, made in Adobe After Effects so uh, um, the modes I'm sorry so just find something you like um, I will go for the add as I said and just bring down the opacity for like 75% or maybe 50 and then just um, bring this transform way up again because um, it's way too, uh, too small okay there we go and now what you want to do is animate these burn uh, effects so I'm um, just going to click hold alt on the keyboard and click on the uh, evolution right over here and then we're going to add a simple expression and that's time times let's say 70 will be good not too fast okay something like that should be fine and then we're going to um, click a new keyframe for the offset turbulence and then we're going to the end of our uh, timeline um, I will do it right over here, so at two seconds, um, because yeah, it's just the footage that I had on my computer. Um, I didn't shoot it for this purpose, so um, yeah. And then we're going to uh, animate this to like, let's say, 5000. Okay. And now another thing we want to do is add a uh, vignette. So right click over here, go to new solid. Also add a new, uh, new black solid, make it comp size and rename it to vignette okay click OK and then you'll see here the ellipse tool so um, it will be a rectangle as uh, standard just hold your uh, left uh, mouse button and then just go to ellipse tool double click on the ellipse and then go to the mask over here the option will just pop up once you double clicked on here and then just change it to a subtract then click on the vignette and press F on the keyboard to um, to open the, the feather and we will change this to like 250% maybe more 350 okay and then press T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity and change this to 75% so now we have something like this um, but another thing you can do is duplicate the vignette and change the mode to overlay to get some cool colors and drop this below the other one uh, so this can get some cool effects right here um, just mess around with all these settings and yeah you'll see what we'll get um, maybe change the opacity a little bit less to like 40% and for the last part you want to do is um, also make the, the burn effect flicker so to do that as we are going back to the layer from the fractal noise press T on the keyboard hold alt and click on the keyframe uh, the, the stopwatch from opacity and there we want to add a ex simple expression again, wiggle, and two times a second, a seconds, it's going to wiggle 50% and close parentheses. Okay, so now what we have is a flickering effect, uh, maybe uh, a little bit more, let's say three times a second. Just mess around with these settings, you don't have to copy anything that you're doing right over here. I'm just showing you the basic um, settings. Um, I don't like the color yet, so um, let's change the color. Just uh, click on these uh, two uh, buttons to um, solo these layers and then go back to the um, color grading and just mess around a little bit more with these settings right over here uh, I think it's like still too too bright so um, let's change the, the greens a little bit more in the highlights uh, something like that should be fine and the reds as well okay there we go Less green. Okay, so this is something I like. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, effect basically. So uh, if you shut down these layers, this is the standard version of our uh, of our scene, and then just these scenes right over here. Maybe um, the fractal noise is a little bit too bright uh, still. So um, we might just changes a little bit less to like let's say 35% okay this is looking pretty cool 
So this is the vintage look in Adobe After Effects. Simple and really fast to create. But um, we don't want to do this effect every single time we want to create a vintage look. So now we are going to save all the presets. So um, we're going to col uh, color grading and we're going to close all these uh, the arrows down. Select all the, the styles right over here, the tint, curves and, uh, and the levels. And go to animation, save animation preset. And this we are going to rename it to color grade vintage. And then just hit save. Then we're going to the fractal noise. And just save this with the hue and saturation to also animation, save animation preset, burn effect. Save it. And then for the vignette, no, you don't have to, to save this. Just do it uh, again the other time you open After Effects. So what we have done right now is um, when you uh, when you create a new adjustment layer um, and you go to the Effects and Presets, if you don't see this window, just go to Windows and click on Effects and Presets or hit Ctrl and plus 5. And then just enter the Vintage right over here. And then you can see right over here you have your effects um, saved. So if you drop this onto your adjustment layer, it will just get you the um, the effects right over here, but um, we already have this, so as you can see. Um, so yeah, just mess around with these settings, and you will get something you like. Um, thanks for watching. Also, be sure to check out my channel. Uh, I have a lot of other tutorials. Um, the tutorial on the description for the scratches, if you want to, just check it out, and it will be integrated with this scene. Um, then I also have a website that you can check out. Also, my tutorials are on my website. I have a forum on my, uh, on my website. If you have problems, just post them on there. Uh, you can also promote your channel or your website or anything you've done and uh, create it. You can just promote them all over there and see what the community thinks about it. Uh, the forum is just new, so it might not be active right now, um, but I'm going to get it really active. So um, for now, I'm also active on the, on the forum, so I will be responding on everything, uh, everyone that's posting something on there. Well, at least I will try to do that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye. Take care.